Hey, how's it going everybody? Came across this really interesting team. Very tough team, but the first Mysterio I've seen at 20 emblems. I have to say, I would probably give him my Rogue emblems as well. He seems really fun to use on offense. Um, and then a full emblemed Alfreich, which is a little frightening. Um, but my blue-red team is a great match for this with the two red flanks. Um, we got Zimkitha, max defense route. <clears throat> so, um, I guess someone requested that I show the hero cards longer, so feel free to pause this. I'm not going to linger on it too long if you don't know these heroes. Hopefully you know Tularia by now. This way you can have a better understanding of the fight. And if you do know these heroes, you still might not know the full breadth of what they do. So take a minute to check that out as well. All right, these are my troops. So this person must be a pretty big spender because look at these troops. I can't imagine having two that are leveled that high. So uh, let's go for it. So it's good to set off um, Mysterio before any ailments have been cast onto him because he doesn't do that much damage. 107% is pretty damn low. I think it's like maybe 110-ish per hero. Um, so let's do that. Mm, I'm gonna do this too. I don't really want to, but I don't have a lot to work with here yet. Oh. Um, I guess we should go for the hit to Zimkitha with the strong color. So, hmm, let's boost it up a little bit with the help of the emblems. Your comments. We gotta start working on Alfreich on the side over there, or we won't be able to get to her in time, I don't think. And then obviously, God, this board is <coughs> not helping me. Mm. Well, freaking purple and green all day. All right, yeah, this is over. Ugh. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so I found another Mysterio here. This one appears to be more balanced. Those stats are really good, man. Cool hero. Um... And I'm not convinced about him on defense, but let's use our regular team. I mean, I've done testing with him already. I figured I'd find another one. I would add another perspective. Um, you can decide how much feels relevant for you to watch before you make up your mind. But let's go back again. Ugh. Um... Probably shouldn't have taken that match just yet. Yuck. All right, well, I won't even have a chance to hit him with anything before he goes off even out there on the wing. So none of the, there's a lot of emblems here, but none of these heroes are very um, concerning on their own. Because Anzog doesn't hit very hard. Melosi doesn't hit very hard. Uh, what's his name? Um, Fenrir has to be on his own. Hmm, so we probably want to take the hit from 
No, we're not going to survive both of these. Gravemaker's not going to survive both, but he's not going to do anything anyway, so let's get our cleanse before um, all of this comes at us. But Gravemaker is not going to survive this. Wow. Not it. Whoa. Not it Ariel. Um... Okay, guess we'll have to go back for more. Um, well, this is, this is probably over. And there's still a small chance if we can get some blues. but it's not looking very good. All right, that was best case scenario. Oh, Anzog had, let's see. Oh, he had three health. I could have killed him with the uncolored or uh, weak tiles. Okay, let's go back again. Damn. That's ugly. Hmm. <laughs> Super diamond. Wow. So I'm just going to get all this junk out of here. We'll make something out of what we have left. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Fuck this board. God Already to Luria. Um, that was a good move. Okay. So, this is a, I mean, this is where you would just craft a different team with Mysterio. So one thing Mysterio can make you do because of his speed and his ability is to force you into choosing different heroes than you normally would. So if you like to use ailment heroes that have dot damage um, and other ailments, it makes you think twice with him. Whoops. Um, because I would have not chosen this, because, like, now I have to heal first. I don't have enough to kill him. I do have Black Knight now, so that's a little bit better, but there are only two taunt heroes in the game, and I don't think Queen of Hearts would... She would last one turn with him, um, because hers is limited to the HP of the minion and not just to a turn-based thing. But in this situation, my three attacking heroes are thwarted by um, Mysterio. In this case, Black Knight is the saving grace because this will not hit everyone. But now you can see he's got a lot going on. Defense down, burn damage, and water damage. All right. 
And then as soon as he casts, he does not memorize anymore. I wonder if you can ever get him up to five. It'd be a fun thing to try with. If I can find another one again, is if you can get up to, if you can max him out on uh, ailment stacks. All right, so um, not a lot of particularly new gameplay in there, but I feel like the interesting thing that it made me realize was um, on defense, even on the wing, because of how quick he is to fire, he can make you second guess your pacing or can change your pacing because there I was like, well, I need to heal now, but I don't want to use my cleanser now because all these ailments are going to come right back at me. Um, and obviously the ailments only impact you if you leave them unresolved. But since I needed to heal, I couldn't afford to save my cleanse. Um, so he can screw with your pacing a little bit if you're using ailment heavy teams, but I think it isn't wise to use those against him for obvious reasons, but that's another skill in and of itself is that he forces you to pick your teams in certain ways. Kind of like Finley makes you avoid element links and buffs because um, he, his ability is exponentially stronger with buffs on your team. Like when he only hits one, it's pretty underwhelming. When he hits all five and you have a follow-up of some kind, it's pretty exceptional. Um, found a near-maxed emblemed Mysterio. Um, still definitely not bitter about not pulling Mysterio. Um, but I haven't seen emblems that high, and it seems, those stats are pretty impressive. It seems like they went a little bit more the defensive route, which I think is smart because his damage is so low anyways that raising his attack stat is not going to gain you that much extra damage. Um, yeah, there's still tile damage, but 810 is pretty respectable tile damage. But keeping him alive is the key so that he can keep slinging everything back at you. So this team is a pretty hard counter to my team, but... That's not really the point of this video to win. Um, I want to just show this hero at his sort of peak level. And especially the team I'm attacking with is full of ailments. So that is a good indicator of what he's capable of. Um, interesting sort of misfit collection of heroes here. And not a, not a strong team synergy, but um, not bad. So... Let's go. Obviously, the biggest hurdle is going to be killing Mitsuko early. Uh, because she renders more than half of my team. Or a little less than half of my team useless. And there she goes. Okay. Uh, do we hit Mysterio? Let's... Sure, it's a testing video. Let's hit Mysterio. Okay, so we can easily kill her. I'm going to hold off on doing anything with Black Knight for a minute because we don't really need it right now. And I spoke too soon. So yeah, here's his damage. You know, so you can maybe get that up like another 30 points maybe if you went the full attack path. I'm not exactly sure, but it doesn't seem that impressive to me. Okay. Oh, wasn't enough. Will two tiles kill her? I think they might, yeah. She's a little bit squishy for a, uh, for a healer. That's funny, it said he memorized it while he was dying. Alright, um, we'll run that back again. I saw a comment on one of my other videos that was like, please stop fleeing, uh, which I thought was interesting. I haven't actually read the full comment yet, but that was a surprising thing to see. I don't know why that would bother somebody. Okay. Hmm, 
So we definitely have no chance at blues, so let's just hit her with all of these. Alright, we can kill her with tiles on the next turn, so let's focus on this side since it's green. Alright, so the cool thing about Mysterio is that Gravemaker only hits three at the most, but Mysterio can magnify that effect. Not magnify, multiply. I guess is a better word, not amplify, multiply probably, um, to hit everyone, which is pretty cool. And so that means that single effects, like, wow. And I can't use my other stuff yet. So then single effects, like, um, oh, god damn it. Oh, there we go. Single effects, like, um, I'm thinking of Morgan Le Fay or, um, Hansel, I wonder if we can... I should test that out. So we'll come back to this. Um, let me just uh, get a few more heroes for the hero chest. Yeah, so I'm curious, if I hit him with Hansel, does he then hit everyone with Hansel? Like, you'd have to be a little silly to bring Hansel with you, um, if you're familiar with Mysterio at all, but it's just cool how he can multiply an effect to hit a full team. So, let's try that. I don't know if I'll even get the chance, but... Um, greens against a red tank is obviously... A red tank with max emblems is pretty stupid, but... Um, just for the testing purposes. Mm. Alright, just need one more green match. But he can multiply Hell's effect across everyone, Kingston's effect across everyone. If I was using Kasumi Liana her effect across everyone. Alright, so... Oh, we don't have Hansel yet. Shit. Alright, let's just get her out of the way. Um, don't want to set him off yet, because I need one more green match. I mean, we know that he will hit my entire team with Hell's Effect, but I don't want to do that. Because then I won't be able to start Cancel, and that's what I'm more interested in. Is, is that considered an ailment, and will he reflect that back across the whole team? So we're going to have to charge him up again. Which means it would be nice to kill Mother North in the meantime. Oh wait, shit. He charges fast. <laughs> oh, and then if... Okay, so we'll... We got time here. Alright, so let's do this. Hopefully that's enough. No. Um... Oh, wait. It'll be tricky to do Hansel's effect on him because first it will affect him, but he does memorize it. Awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, I think it'd be really fun to use on, um, <coughs> on offense. Oops, hopefully this doesn't kill him. Shit. Alright, cool. Healed him a little bit. effective at locking him down. Though it is a gamble. Um, I 
Alright, so I'm gonna kill Mother North before he attacks my entire team. So we're about to get mindless attack cast on us, so we want to use the hero with the highest attack stat first. Not that it matters that much. Okay. Oh my god, that's so cool. So yeah, that's, again, you'd have to be a little silly to use those. Oh, I guess it depends on what your options are. Because sometimes you're just like trying to win the fight, and if that's what you need to use, that's what you need to use. And he memorizes it until it's used. So if you use anything on him, there's the chance at it backfiring. So, um... So, you have to keep that in mind. Oh, okay, he still had the attack debuff on him, which is why he only did 50. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that actually demonstrated. Um, so, then your imagination is the only limitation for what effects he would be able to send back. So if we think of some common heroes on defense, um, actually, let's just look at some common heroes on defense. So Black Knight doesn't do anything. This shot doesn't do anything. So obviously Vela's water damage, Onatel's mana control. Um, I don't have her, so I can't test this. I would like to have her. She seems like a really fun hero to use, but um, wow, Max Emblems too. Um, she normally affects three people, and she steals mana first 25%, 50%, 75%, and then finally 100% on the fourth turn. Um, so I wonder, does he gain all that mana? Does no one gain the mana? Because he's, like, just copying the ailment, but he's not... I don't know if that, like, deems him the caster of the ailment. So if you know the answer to that question, if you have Masiru and you've used him, and you can prove this, or you have Onatel and you've used her, um... Either way, my question is, does he gain the mana from stealing this effect? Or, like, if he steals Morgan Le Fay's effect, does he actually gain life from it or not? Um, so let me know if you know the answer to that. But he can throw a Telurius thing back, Vela's thing back, obviously. Um, Gravemaker and all these things he can multiply across the entire team. Uh, Blind is another good one. So, like, if June hits him, even if he dodges uh, as a rogue um, still has that effect still can throw that effect back Marjana is somewhat common only because of her rogue status okay so White Rabbit's um, defense down Finley's defense down or if he's on the same team with Killhair you know, he can memorize any of those Easter Heroes effects on himself and can then throw those back to the opposing team. So you can use your kind of your own ailments. Those Easter Heroes have the ailments to kind of keep their really strong power in check. Um, so you can throw any of those back. So pretty cool hero. Would love to have him. We'll see. Uh, Got to get pretty lucky. But um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.